One of the most common questions among Flutter developers, whether you are just starting out or you have years of experience, is how to check the responsiveness of a Flutter application. Today I will be sharing a method that's incredibly useful for assessing your Flutter app's responsiveness across a wide range of devices. This includes Android, iOS, Mac, Windows, iPads, tablets, and even Linux systems. By implementing this technique into your Flutter app, you will gain access to numerous phone dimensions. For example, if you are using a Windows system and want to test how your app looks on various iOS devices such as the iPhone 12 mini or iPhone 13 and other similar models, you will find it amazingly simple. So stick around as we dive into this exciting journey together. We will explore how to easily evaluate and ensure your photo app looks great on different devices. If you are enjoying the content, please make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I've got this Flutter application up and running, showcasing a basic sortable list view feature. Now I'm eager to demonstrate how it performs on various devices during testing. And here is the code for this project. Everything is well defined. There is a simple app bar and a list view that includes a sorting feature, all with some mock data. The next step is to incorporate the device preview package into our project by adding it to the project dependency in the pubspec.yml file. Once you have seen that all the dependencies have been updated, let's make use of this package for our specific purpose. As per the official documentation, the process involves wrapping the My App class with the device preview widget provided by the device preview package. Within the builder parameter, we are required to return our My App class, which is a material app. The material app's home parameter should reference our final view widget, which is our main app. Furthermore, to enable the display of different devices, we will use the enable parameter within the device preview widget. Setting this parameter to true allows the package to showcase the application in various device views. The last crucial step to effectively utilize the device preview package involves these actions. Activate the app's use inherited media query to true. Employ device preview dot app builder for the app's builder property and assign the app's local to device preview dot local and pass the context to it. It's important to overwrite the previous properties as mentioned. Without defining these, the media query won't be simulated accurately for the chosen device, potentially impacting the display across various devices. Once you have completed all these steps, the final action required is to perform a hot restart of your app. And that's it, you're all set. Now you can freely navigate between different devices to test your application's responsiveness and see how it adapts across various screen sizes. Thank you for joining me on this learning journey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe for more tutorials and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring and learning.